Hello. In this video, I thought that we would try to find the slope of the tangent line on what I'm going to call a horizontal ellipse. I'm going to call this a horizontal ellipse because the major axis, which is going to be this distance here, uh, the, se the semi-major axis, so the longer axis of the ellipse, is in the x direction instead of the y direction. And this ellipse is centered at the origin. So the equation we know for this ellipse is going to be x squared over a squared, where a squared is the semi-major axis, plus y squared over b squared, where b is the semi-minor. So this is a, and this is b. Let's get that b there, b. This is going to be equal to 1. So right off the bat, we can tell that this isn't a normal function, right? Because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. So maybe in finding the slope of a curved tangent, I mean, so the slope of a line tangent to this curve, what we need to do, or taking the derivative, we want to find dy dx, what we're probably going to need to use is implicit differentiation. So what I'm going to do, and our final goal, and I'm going to write this in, let's see, pink? Yeah, let's do pink. Our final goal is to find out what dy dx is equal to. It's a derivative with respect to x. I'm writing it as dy dx because I don't want to say um, I don't want to say f prime of x because this isn't a function. We're not taking the derivative of a function per se. We're taking the derivative of y with respect to x at any given point. So what I'm going to do is take the derivative of both sides of our equation. I'm going to say derivative with respect to x of x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to the derivative with respect to x of 1. All right. Well, what's the derivative of a constant? Well, this is going to be 0 over here. This other part, oh, there seems to be a dog barking. Uh, then we can split this other part up into two derivatives. This is the derivative with respect to x of x squared over a squared plus the derivative with respect to x of y squared over b squared. All right, so this uh, we can bring those uh, coefficients out, 1 over a squared, because a and b's are both constants. We can just pull them out. We can say that this is equal to 1 over a squared times the derivative with respect to x of x squared plus 1 over b squared times the derivative with respect to x of y squared is equal to 0. All right, what's the derivative with respect to x of x squared here? Well, that's going to be 2x. So 2x times 1 over a squared plus uh, 1 over b squared times what's the derivative of y squared with respect to x? And we're going to use the chain rule here, where we're going to treat y sort of as a function of x. Um, and in the chain rule, that's something you can do, because the idea is that we have y in terms of x somehow. There's, there is a dy dx. So what we're going to be doing is we're taking the derivative of this outer function, which can be modeled by x squared, with respect to that... Um, inner function, which is y, and then, well, let's say, let's say the outer function is x squared. I'm going to say this outer function is x squared, and the inner function, or the inner value, is y. It starts to get a little bit misleading to use a chain rule and say function when you, um, when you get into implicit differentiation, because we're not quite, because y isn't a function of x in the same way, but the chain rule still applies. So, um... We have the outer kind of function is x squared, and then the inner function uh, is just going to be our y. So what we can do is we can take the derivative of the outer function. It's going to be 2x, but we plug in y, right, because that's chain rule. So times 2y, but then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is y, which is times dy dx. There we go. And that's equal to 0. All right. So that's 2x over a squared plus 2y over b squared 
times dy dx is equal to zero. We're going to subtract 2x over a squared from both sides. So negative 2x over a squared is equal to 2y over b squared times dy dx. So we're almost done. All we need to do is divide both sides by 2y over b squared. I'm going to bring this over here. So we're almost done. So we have that dy dx, our answer, is equal to negative 2x over a squared divided by 2y over b squared. This is the same as uh, multiplying by the reciprocal of the bottom one. So this is going to be the same as 2x, negative 2x over a squared times b squared over 2y. And all of that is going to be negative b squared x over a squared y. And I think that's kind of interesting. If you remember, um, if you remember my, or you saw my video on the uh, derivative of a circle, we found a somewhat similar answer, but you can see now how the semi-major and semi-minor axis play into things. And how before we just said negative x over y, but now we have negative b squared x over a squared i. Uh, and if a and b were the same, like in a circle, then you'd see that it would the same case would be the same because they'd cancel out, so we have negative x over y. Um, in the next video, we're going to be doing the same thing for a hyperbola, and I think you'll find that the answer is interestingly similar. Thanks for watching.